face that this world has forgotten. What's up guys and welcome to a bit of a smaller video where we're just gonna debate on of course the recent battle pass ban throughout the tiers, but also of course is discussion in OU and why it is such a big issue with battle pass in general. Now I'll of course take a stand for of course battle pass in general in the end of the video. But I just really want to try to explain what's going on, why it is such a big issue, and why people are, well, feeling indifferent or very different about it. Yeah. One really has to come to terms with that playing by smoking rules has two types of players. We have the players that are heavy meta that face this daily and definitely pushes the boundaries of what they can do. And then we have the players like me, really, that are... Well, your, your everyday player, uh, we do laddering maybe sometimes, but mostly play for fun. We don't face battle pass that often because in the end of the day, we're entertainers. We're not necessarily able to go in for for the winning in, in that fashion or rather uh, there is no there is no no pedestal where we have to win every game. Therefore, battle pass is an option that is rarely, of course, considered. So with that in mind, one really has to look upon that the people that are debating this are the people that are facing this more often than not. I, like I said, it, I do not face it often enough to really make my own decision on how badly it really is, but you can reach on Sun or Salmon. Now, the issue here that was heavily developing that I heard of was that Zotu and Espeon in, of course, Yuyu, of course. Um, Espeon was, I do believe, BL eventually in um, the Smoke and Tears in Generation 6. But Sato was really, really standing out. Sato and Ninja's come was something since Magic Bounce did, of course, hinder so many things. No, actually, Espeon was in uh, RU. No, UU last last generation was in RU this. And that's why it kind of de de developed. Uh, the reason that's such a big issue is which Magic Bounce do kind of, you know, the possible Thunder Wave who could stop a potential speed pass. Because, of course, Battle Pass has been banned, or not banned, but nerfed a, long, a lot of times. And of course, recently was really, really, really defined in only one Pokemon can, you know, Battle Pass. And if they do, uh, they can only pass, of course, at speed, but nothing else, or whatever, and just not speed. Well, that people just work around it also is a perk and a nerf for the way I want to it. But um, anyway, Espeon Reese, are you? rocked havoc it should be uh, done does just about as well in UU even in a way and the reason for a lot of things actually getting that of course speed boost is because in generation 7 here there were a lot of really really offensive pokemon that well they didn't have necessarily the speed but did just the speed boost kind of solve it and also a lot of move pool issues has been resolved with c moves in mind which means that even with a bad impact in mind we are going to see a considerable amount of course punching power throughout the game. Also, of course, C passing is also a thing here with, of course, being able to bulk yourself really, really tough and then be able to bat and pass that off. There are so many factors to make sure you can ensure a bat and pass. Of course, even the worst ones, of course, with C memento and just recover, of course, a possible bat and passer and nerf your opponent at the same time. There are so many factors to, of course, bat and pass being successful. In the end of the day, that does kind of affect a lot of player style here. So. It was, as I said, a ban from RU and UU, and is debatable in OU because Scully Pass is a really, really tough thing to be dealing with. Not because Scully Pass on its own is necessarily broken, but it's because the Pokemon it represents in the Scully Pass that just resolves a lot of things. Circuitry, Tough My Head, is one of those Pokemon that, oh wait, now it's pretty darn strong, and of course, already has the speed to kind of resolve itself and are immune to Thunder Wave. Yay, that's great. And also, of course, Cortana, which after one speed boost may or may not actually sweep up the Swartons afterwards. Because even if you pass your speed or a few Pokemon that actually can set up on their own, and my god, do they do that really well. So, yeah, in the end of the day, there are Pokemon that are extremely powerful, that can maybe lack the speed or lack a certain stat, but they can be resolved because they're actually a pass that could resolve that for them. Or even worse, and I've actually seen people just go for a small stance, bat and pass to something really, really speedy, and we saw that because the move pool of Pokemon due to C moves are now complete and they are definitely aren't even checked or countered by anything. Uh, so that's the reason, well, reason for the Skull of, or the bat and pass in general going, of course, banned. I'm really sorry if this comes out unscripted because I try to really, really define myself as well as I can, but at the end of the day, the reason Bad Impact is such a hard view on is because there are 
so many ways to be successful with it if you know what you're doing. And as stated, the players that are of course dealing with this daily, they definitely knew what they were doing. There's only so many phasers left. The phaser, of course, a Pokemon that can force another Pokemon with Dragon Tail, Roar, Whirlwind. Uh, those are getting scarce and scarce mainly because the Pokemon that are getting the pass are able to now naturally deal with them. There are just so many ways of actually attacking Pokemon now that phasers are even able to do just that, phasing out a Pokemon. It's, it's not happening as well as more. There were a lot of Pokemon now really, really, really strong. And Bad and Pass is only the sole reason for that. Uh, now, as stated, there are a lot of ways, of course, being successful with Bad and Pass, but as stated, Scarlet Pass is the one that definitely are now up for debate. In Ninja's Pass, while annoying, it is only a factor for the Pokemon that can be successful with it. Ninja's on its own is not that scary. But a Pokemon that is speeded boosted by, of course, Ninjas, yeah, that thing is going to generally go as a little big threat. So, yeah. There are a lot of other factors too, but I don't think I should go over them necessarily. I just want to give you a broadening grasp of why the Bad and Pass on its own is scary. And as stated, if you're a player like me, you're, you don't face Bad and Pass often enough to determine how dangerous it really is. And I could say that I didn't care much for Bad and Pass. I, I don't believe it's a possible threat. But as stated, I don't face it, I don't deal with it daily, I, I play for fun, most of my opponents are doing just the same. And uh, I'm, I could definitely tell you guys that had I faced a Minyask Espeon team in RU, it would have win with a stored power set. There is <laughs> there are not a lot of things that counter that naturally help. Battle and pass some Moxie Heracross and yay, things get scary fast. So, <laughs> and that's the thing. One really has to, of course, look into it through that through those eyes and uh, I'm just seeing this continue to develop but they'll see more and more recently of course the Ninja's can mega Heracross now in OU so th this is definitely it's not even debatable it's very likely to go and it's because things get unstoppable now the fun wave nerf is such a big deal for a lot of of course possible way of of course stopping something like this there are a lot of things happening behind the scenes that made Battle Pass more successful. The nerves in other areas made this core strategy really, really stronger. It hasn't changed, but a lot of things that did hinder it has changed the worse, and therefore Battle Pass got stronger. So, yeah, with that said, I hope you guys got a good understanding. As stated here, I really want to see Battle Pass go because I don't use it on my own. So, it's just one thing less for me to worry about, but at the same time, the reason I want to see it go may or may not actually be just because of that very reason. It is something that does kind of disrupt any kind of synergy naturally. And at the end of the day, if you want a competitive scene, you don't want to hope that your opponents are not able to basically boost something and then they are uncheckable. It's a boring playstyle and it doesn't, it doesn't de-develop in any fashion. It just keeps on stagnated. And the meta will determine to be, of course, as stagnated as the most successful sets are, of course. So with that in mind, I would definitely see Bad and Pass go to make changes to a more varied meta. Because in the end of the day, that's what I want. That's something that would benefit all players, in my honest opinion. And for leagues, they're doing what they want. I don't care about leagues with Bad and Pass in mind. It is what it is. Um, but for Smogon rules, I definitely could see Bad and Pass go. And if it goes, it goes for the right reasons. It goes because in the end of the day, we want a more varied meta, and this looks like to be the most valuable way of doing just so, sadly, but it has continued for, all, I believe, three generations now. We finally got to the point where people say, fuck it, this is just not working anymore, and we really gotta respect that in the end of the day. So I hope you guys got some good reflections here, and, uh, well, if you guys are, of course, on a different opinion or want to do debate it, make sure to, of course, write it down in the comments below. And as stated, I do respect you if you want to keep bad and pass, I'm just trying to describe how things are at the moment so yeah thank you of course as always so much for watching and i'll see you of course next video until then of course take care